Hey everyone, today I'm building a smart Arduino power meter using the ZMPT101B voltage sensor and SCT013 current sensor. And yes, it even has automatic voltage protection using a relay. We'll measure real-time voltage, current, and power. And if things get unsafe, the relay instantly cuts the load to keep your devices safe. Quick build, cool demo. Let's dive right in. If you want to build your own custom project like this one, or need modification something unique at affordable costs, make sure to check out the page linked in the description below. Also, you can reach me directly through this mail address info at circuitdiagrams.in. Just drop your idea, and I'll help you bring it to life. To make this project compact, we choose Arduino Nano for the main processing unit. ZMPT101B Voltage Sensor. This is a high-precision voltage transformer. This module makes it easy to monitor AC mains voltage up to 1000 volts. SCT013, Non-Invasive Current Sensor. This non-invasive current sensor clamped around the supply line can measure up to 30 amps and allow you to calculate how much current passed through it. 20x4 LCD display. This 20x4 character LCD display is built in with RW1063 controller IC, which are 68004 line SPI or I2C interface options. I2C LCD module. It is a type of module that communicates with a microcontroller or other device using the I2C serial communication protocol. It provides a way to display text and information on a simple, easy-to-use display, typically with a 16x2 or 20x4 character format. 5-volt solid-state relay module. It is a single-channel relay module that works with a low-level trigger voltage of 5 volts DC. 100 ohm resistor 210 kilo ohm resistor 110 microfarad 25 volt electrolyte capacitor some male to female jumper wires breadboard for placing all of the components easily some optional components are dc male and female jacks female header pins and double-sided vero board to mount all the components now time to connect all components step by step. First placing Arduino Nano into the breadboard. 210K resistor is used in series with an SCT013 sensor primarily to create a voltage divider and to limit the current flowing through the sensor. This is necessary because the SCT013's output voltage is proportional to the current being measured and the 10 kilom resistor helps to provide a stable reference voltage and prevents damage to the sensing electronics. A 100 ohm resistor, often called a burden resistor, is used with the SCT013 current sensor to convert the current output of the sensor into a measurable voltage. This is necessary because the SCT013 sensor generates a secondary current proportional to the primary current being measured. The burden resistor creates a voltage drop across it, which is then used to determine the measured current. A 10 microfarad capacitor is used in conjunction with an SCT013 current sensor, specifically in the circuit used to measure the current, to filter out high-frequency noise and improve the stability of the sensor's output. Connect any one terminal of the series resistor with capacitor ground leg and extend it to the ground rail of the breadboard. Connect middle terminal of the series resistor with capacitor positive leg. Now time to connect the SCT013 current sensor with breadboard. Typically the red wire is the positive signal wire and the white wire is the negative signal wire. The red wire acts as a burden resistor in some cases, while the white wire is connected to the current transformer's output. Now connect voltage sensors VCC, 
ground and data pin using jumper wire. Connect voltage sensors VCC and ground pin with breadboard positive and negative rail and data pin with a zero pin of the Arduino. Now connect both 20 by 4 LCD and I2C module together. Connect ground, VCC, SDA, and SCL pin using jumper wire. Connect VCC and ground of the I2C module into the positive and negative rail of the breadboard. And then connect SDA and SCL pin of the I2C module with A4 and A5 of the Arduino respectively. Connect relay modules positive and negative terminal to the breadboard positive and negative terminal. And finally connect data pin of the relay to the D8 pin of the Arduino Nano. Connect live and neutral wire from 230 volt AC supply directly to the voltage sensor terminal. To measure AC current in a 230 volt circuit with an SCT013 sensor, you need to clamp the sensor around a single AC wire carrying the load's current. To connect a 230 volt AC wire with a load using a relay module on the AC side, cut the live wire from the 230 volt AC source and connect one end to the relay's common terminal. Connect the relay's normally open terminal to one end of the load. Then, connect the other end of the load to the neutral wire of the AC supply. Remember use the live wire which is used in SCT-013 sensor. Now plug in USB cable between Arduino Nano and PC. Now plug in USB cable between Arduino Nano and PC. First, we have initialize I2C LCD display address, both 16x2 and 20x4 code available in the link. Now change this voltage and current calibration factor repeatedly until you get your desired output. Finally click on the Tools menu and select Write Board and Port, and after that, hit on Upload button. All the circuit diagram and source code are available in my website. I will give a link in the description. After successfully uploading the code, you can see the values displaying on the screen. To make the project compact, I mount all the components on a double-sided PCB board. Also use a 16x2 LCD display as it is smaller than 20x4 LCD display. Both code are available in my website. First insert the live and neutral wire from the 230 AC supply to the voltage sensor terminal block.
Now insert the red and white wire of the CT013 current sensor to the terminal block. Clamp any one wire between AC live and neutral wire from the load to the current sensor, as we need to cut the supply for over and under voltage situation, so it should be clamped from load wire. And then put the same wire into the relay module's common terminal. Insert another live wire direct from AC mains power supply to the normally closed terminal of the relay module. Power on the load what to be measured. This is a 12 watt LED bulb for our first testing load. At first we can see that the voltage in the power meter and in the multimeter are same 228 volts, so we can say the voltage sensor is properly working, as you can clearly see the wattage showing on the display. For our second load, we choose a high wattage heat gun. You can use 200 watt AC bulb by replacing this. That's it for the today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It will inspire me to make such DIY projects.